Hey my loves, it's Kaylin Rose and I'm back with some Proverbs, some doses of Proverbs. But today's dose of Proverbs comes from Proverbs 23 verses one through three, which says, when you sit down to dine with the ruler, consider carefully what is before you. And if you have a big appetite, put a knife to your throat. Don't desire his choice food for that food is deceptive. So when you consider this verse, it wants you to consider when you're sitting down with someone with power, money, resources, or someone who's just ahead of you or has authority over you, consider what they can get from you. Consider why they are inquiring of you or why their motives behind wanting to dine with you, be around you. What can they gain from you as a result from you gaining from them? Because the food is deceptive. So the verse says, if you have a big appetite, their food is going to appeal to you. What are you hungry for? See, if you've been starved in childhood from attention, maybe you were starved from affirmation maybe you were starved of literal money clothes your basic necessities you were neglected maybe you were starved of just quality time and having people do things for you to meet your needs without ulterior motives or just requiring more of you see the the ruler his is deceptive, so maybe that person in your life might have been a family member that always caused you to self-sacrifice to get what you need, what they were supposed to do for you, which is supply you with love, affection, nurturing you, also with closed shoes. But maybe you had to do more than what was required of you. You had to demand it or you had to always go out of your way for them without still getting your needs met so this i say all this to say that when someone comes down to sit down with you if you're hungry for money you'll take that first chance or opportunity you get without consulting god or thinking twice about it because the enemy knows what you're hungry for when the enemy sends you a friend or a relationship and they seem like that angel of light. The enemy knows you're hungry for affirmation. He knows you didn't get quality time as a child. He knows what you want and he will send a counterfeit. So that's why God is saying, don't eat it. Whatever offer that is trying to be presented before you, that you have an all feeling about, but you just can't put your eye on it. Well, God says in this wisdom right here, they are probably going to be benefiting more from you than you for them. That's what this ruler did in this proverb. His food was deceptive because behind his food was that he was going to gain more than he was letting on. And that's what that opportunity, that job, that boss, that family member, whatever the case is for you, where they're in a position over you to give you what you're hungry for, it is deceptive. Take it back to God and he will reveal to you their motives and why you were attracted to whatever this person, place, or thing is offering you. Because you were starved in that area. You were being taken advantage of by the enemy and exploited in that area so that he could get you to miss your blessing and the real deal that God has for you which doesn't come with deceit, which doesn't come with harm, and which doesn't come with someone seemingly having to be demanding or domineering or authoritative over you. See, this person is a ruler. So know that that thing in your life is gonna rule you. You aren't gonna be ruling it. You think you going back to that family member, that toxic household, that toxic husband, you think, that it's gonna be the best option, that choice food for you. But in reality, 
It's going to rule you. It's going to dominate you. The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. So ultimately, that ruler is trying to destroy you, pre presenting itself as that choices option and like that last resort when really God is all you need. So how do we apply this to our life? One way I apply this, check in your life, what are you hungry for or what you have been starved of? Because what are you craving the most that you didn't get? What needs didn't get met as a child? Because that's what the enemy is going to keep hitting you with. And you wonder why you keep going in that cycle. It's because at some point we have to check within to see why I keep wanting that affirmation. Why I keep wanting to be around those people. Why I keep falling for the same gimmicks. It's because of everything that happened in the past will relive it until we begin to dismantle the lies of not having enough, not being enough, not being worthy of what we truly deserve. And next, my prayer is, is that God would change your appetite. I pray in the name of Jesus that God would change your appetite to desire his choice food, his words of wisdom, his life he has for you, his truth. I pray that God would reveal and expose any ruler that is trying to deceive you with choice food, choice words, choice affirmations. They know how to speak to you. And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you would be set free and healed from the bondage of those words spoken to you that have deceit behind them that you aren't able to pick up. I pray you will be able to discern it in the name of Jesus today. I pray no weapons formed against you will prosper. I love you guys. And I pray you guys are able to not allow yourself to be deceived anymore. That this will be the last time someone would deceive you with that choice option because you would realize now that God is the only choice option that you need to continue to survive and thrive.